Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta. And today we will understand the new feature which is introduced in Smart PLS4 that is covariance based SAM, also known as CB SAM. A typical SAM model consists of two main components the measurement model and the structural model. Measurement model. This component represents the relationship between the observed variables and their corresponding latent variables. It specifies how observed variables are related to the underlying construct they will represent. For example, if we have several observed indicators of a latent variable like job satisfaction, the measurement model describes how these observed indicators relate to and measure the underlying construct. Structural model. This component represents the relationship between the latent variables and the relationship among the latent variables. It describes the causal relationships and association among the latent variables. The structural model specifies how latent variables influence each other directly or indirectly through a series of paths. These paths can represent hypothesized causal relationships or association among the variables. Now there are some prerequisites while drawing the CBSAM in the canvas. If we are having an independent variable which is identified as, you can see here from this construct the arrow is moving out. Now if we are having many independent variables, it is necessary that we should co-vary them. Uh, by variables I here mean the constructs. The second thing is that if we are having a dependent construct, uh, also known as endogenous, independent is exogenous, dependent is endogenous. So if the arrow is moving inside, it is necessary that we put the error term on it. So these are the prerequisites in SAM diagram. This is our measurement model. So after establishing the reliability and validity of the measurement model, we will convert this measurement model into the structural model. Now let's see how we can do this in Smart PLS. So we will activate the new project. We'll write down. Let's see. CBSAM, create, import the data file. So I'll import the data file. The data file can be in Excel format or XLS format or CSV format. Open, import, press back. Now create the model. Now, if you want to create the covariance based SAM, make sure that the model type you select is CBSAM. I'll give the name here. It is uh, my data set is HPAT. Save. Now we will pick up. Now I am having the four statements for job satisfaction JS1, JS2, JS3, and JS4. Now the multiple selections of this uh, variables can be done with the help of control tab. Press the control tab, JS1, JS2, JS4 and with the help of right click, drag it and drop it on the canvas. Now give the name, top satisfaction. The most interesting thing which you have to see in covariance based SAM is that it is having an error term which was not there in the PLS SAM. Moreover, it will set the metric for one of the path as 1, which was not there in PLS SAM. So let's change the uh, direction of the indicators. We will minimize it so that we can take more constructs here. Now I want OC1. That is organizational commitment, OC1, OC2, OC3, OC4. These are the statements which are asked on the Likert scale. Organizational commitment. I change the direction. So, organizational commitment and its four statements. Environmental perception and its four statements, that is environmental perception of an employee and its four statements. Behavior of the co-workers and its four statements. Staying intention of an employee and its four statements. Now in case of covariance based SAM, it is necessary that we co-vary all these constructs. So what we'll do is, we'll select and activate the correlation from here. Job satisfaction co-varies with the organizational commitment. 
जॉब सेटिस्फेक्शन को वेरीज विद एनवायरमेंटल परसेप्शन जॉब सेटिस्फेक्शन को वेरीज विद को वर्कर्स जॉब सेटिस्फेक्शन को वेरीज विद स्टेइंग इंटेंशन नाउ सिमिलरली ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल कमिटमेंट विद एनवायरमेंटल परसेप्शन ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल कमिटमेंट विद द बिहेवियर ऑफ द को वर्कर्स ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल कमिटमेंट विद द स्टेइंग इंटेंशन ऑफ एन एम्प्लॉय एनवायरमेंटल परसेप्शन एंड द बिहेवियर ऑफ द को वर्कर्स environmental perception and the staying intention of an employee co-workers and uh, staying intention of an employee now let's change the direction one two three four and five Now go and calculate, and run the basic CBSM algorithm. Start the calculation. Open the report. Now you can see here that in the outer loadings, metric standardize, you will be getting. the loadings of each and every statement possibly the threshold limit uh, in coherence based sam is uh, either 0.3 or 0.4 so this ep1 so this value is uh, below the threshold limit moreover from here you can also detect the cross loadings if there are any you can also get the construct reliability and validity from here so everything is in green which is quite good you can get the discriminant validity for which uh, we are having two options one is foreigner larkin criterion and another is stmt activate the foreigner larkin criterion so we know that diagonally this values should be maximum in the corresponding rows and columns so this value should be maximum in the corresponding column this value should be maximum in corresponding row as well as corresponding column so we have achieved this so the discriminant validity is achieved moreover in case of stmt the heterotate monotreat ratio this value should be less than 0.85 everything is green and therefore this values are below the threshold limit now we will activate the model fit and you can see here the model fit indices which are there we are having many model fit indices which are not available in pls based sam we are having gfi AGFI, PGFI, SRMR, NFI, TLI, CFI. Now, normally NFI, TLI, CFI, they all must be above point nine, and they are above point nine, which is quite good. Moreover, you can see here the chi square divided by degree of uh, freedom. It is one point three four six. It is reasonably less than three, which is quite good. So here we are having a goodness of fit as well as a badness of fit. RMSC should be less than point one. So here it is point zero two nine, which is uh, good. So RMSC is a badness of fit as well as SRMR is also the badness of fit. So this value should also be less than point one, and it is there. Now we will again go back uh, by pressing edit, and now we will run calculate CBSM algorithm, and activate the complete uh, report we want a complete report start the calculation now activate the open report now in outer model you will activate standardized outer weights and p value so you got this p values as well as the outer uh, the outer loadings so they are all significant you can see here and this is uh, 0.00 is uh, p value it is less than 0.05 it means that all of them are significant now you can go in outer loadings standardize activate mean standard deviation and p value so from here you can get uh the p values 
as well as the outer loading are they significant or not so ac1 ac2 ac3 ac4 and their p values ep1 to ep4 their p values js1 to js4 and their p values moreover you can also get the average variance extracted so here the average variance extracted they all are about 0.5 which is quite good and moreover the p value is less than 0 0.05 which is also significant which means that average variance extracted is a significant now go in latent variable correlations activate this make sure that uh, the correlation among the constructs is less i'm again repeating the correlation among the constructs should be less if the correlation is high and if it is significant it means that uh, we have lost the discriminant validity so it is necessary that the correlation among the constructs should be less once the reliability and validity of the measurement model is established we'll go back now what we will do we will uh, just pay attention here my staying intention is a endogenous construct this can be only the, the structural model can be only made after we establish the reliability and validity of the measurement model let me uh, make you recall this is our measurement model so first we assess the reliability and validity of it once it is established we convert the same measurement model into the structural model so in this case i want to say that my, the staying intention is an endogenous construct so i'll bring the staying intention here and i will disconnect this covariance disconnect it once the measurement uh, the reliability and validity of the measurement model is established the same model we are going to convert into the structural model so we will introduce the paths now which are not there in measurement model job satisfaction affecting the staying intention now be careful as soon as i connect job satisfaction with staying intention the residual error term will appear you can see here this is residual error these are measured errors measured error for the statements this is the residual error of the model so let me connect this now i will run calculate cbsm bootstrapping complete start the calculation so this is my inner model for inner model i want the coefficients as well as the p value so this can be done from here standardized path coefficients and p value so 0 0.067 0 0.115 so p value is more than 0 0.05 means this part is insignificant this part this part and this part they are significant if you want to uh, get the table value table value go in open report activate the path coefficients and you can see here now our results are in tabular form One more interesting feature which is there in the Smart PLS4 is I can convert the CBSAM model into PLSSAM. We can also compare the results of CBSAM with PLSSAM. So this is the CBSAM results. You can compare with PLSSAM. So I'll uh, press edit. Now I will simply press convert. And I want to convert this into PLSSAM. Now I will give the name here. HBAT1 and save. Immediately the model will get converted into the PLS SAM. You can see here. Now calculate bootstrapping. Start calculations. Now, in case of PLS SAM, it is not necessary to draw the measurement model. You can directly start working on the structural model open report and path coefficients 
the results of PLS SAM. You can compare with CV SAM. The interesting thing which has been found is with larger data sets, that is n is equal to 250 plus, CB SAM and PLSM results are very similar when an appropriate number of indicator variables, that is 4 plus, are used to measure each of the constructs. So this was all about CB SAM in Smart PLS 4. For more videos on Smart PLS, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please refer my playlist in which I already uploaded many videos on Smart PLS 4. Don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the like button.